Dr. Nazari, tell us about your product and how, how you hope that it's going to change this discussion we just had about the doctor-patient interaction. Uh, thank you very much, Alice. If I could ask my uh, friend Bill to come and help us uh, sure. show the product while we talk about it. Uh, we have a product called Vital Patch. It's a clinical grade FDA uh, biosensor that rests on the patient chest and makes eight uh, bio, biometric measurements. The three more prominent ones are uh, heart rate, breathing rate, and ECG. Uh, what is also very special about this product, that it is very small, comfortable, and fully disposable. So after use, the patients would get rid of it, and a new one is How long is it on, generally? Uh, four to five days. OK. And you can shower with it? And Absolutely, yes. Right. So this replaces then being able to have to go into the, into the doctor's office or having to be in a hospital, right, and, and having these things monitored. Well, there are many applications. One of the applications that we see, as uh, Dr. Moore mentioned, is in hospital. Uh, clinical, trial, clinical studies have shown that uh, continuous monitoring of patients would lead to better outcomes. So the patient can be monitored in their room and at the same time, uh, uh, if anything that may happen is observed, but at the same time, we can run algorithms to making predictions that if a certain patient would have a condition to intervene earlier, or alternatively, if a patient is in very good condition, can be released from the hospital at an earlier date. So you can also collect enough data where you can see patterns. Absolutely. In other words, and, and be able to tell what's happening to people and collect data to know when things spike, for example, what were they doing, what causes that. Absolutely. And be smarter about helping people to manage, yes. to manage their uh, symptoms and, and measurements. Right? Absolutely. And depending on the conditions we've seen on our data, from a few hours to a few days or even one week, depending on the medical condition. Okay. Well, let's take a look at the device. Dr. Nazari, if you'd like to explain what we're seeing here on the screen. Uh, these are the measurements that uh, the device does. The upper right is the clinical grade ECG, and right next to it are heart rate and breathing rate. We also make a number of measurements on the body posture and motion. And we also have an algorithm for, to detect fall detection, which is very important both in hospital use but also in home use. So if Bill here were to just step down on that stage, we would see this come this He actually has to alert. fall. We made it okay. very robust. Uh, so right. we don't yeah. do that. We're not going to yeah. make you do that. Yes. <laughs> And uh, I can see you have got a, a gait measure, which is very important, I think, for um, elderly populations. Uh, ab absolutely. And in fact, we're expanding that in the future to, uh, to showing soft posture, because in some conditions in hospitals, the patients have to be rolled over to ensure that there is no skin conditions for them. So the, all kinds of uh, these uh, posture measurements have a lot of clinical values that we are adding to our device. So this is going to generate a lot of information on, on our friend Bill here. And when this goes to the doctor, um, is the doctor able to look at, for example, just the alerts if there's something that goes unusual about his breathing or about his heart rate or, you know, he falls? How does the doctor get alerted to, to something that's abnormal or that changes? Uh, th this data goes to a, a cloud server computing environment. And the data is sliced and diced and analyzed to the condition that the doctors is looking at. We do not want to bombard doctors with so much data that it's, uh, it's just not useful. From the data, information is derived, and that is what the doctors uh, take to make uh, medical uh, uh, judgments for the patients. Okay. And just in the last few seconds, just want to see if there's any questions about the device, curiosity. Anybody want to try it? <laughs> yes, back there. A patient. Yes. He's a cool cucumber, but, isn't he? Yes. <laughs> that's, that's generally the case. Whoever makes the demo, the heart rate goes way up. He's, obvi <laughs> he's obviously very excited. Yes. I was once on TV, it went to over 110. Oh, my goodness. So. <laughs> We're making him nervous. Yes. yes. 
Just so I'm clear, did you say that that measurement in the upper right is, a, is an EKG? Yes. So, so that's the same measurement that a patient would get by going to the hospital for, an EK, for like a pre-surgical EKG? Absolutely, yes. And, and it is cl uh, clinically clear, the FDA approved and all that. So would you just briefly talk about broadly the cost differential between well, what I think you're we're gonna, I'm sorry to interrupt, but I think we're going to have to have Dr. Nazari maybe do that in the breakout over okay. there. Um, I'm getting uh, I'd be, I'd be glad to, to do on. that. Yes. Thank you so much, Dr. Thank Nazari. Thank you so much. Bill.